So this set is already double verified and completed. It's an Octan station. So this is my double ver second verification on 920, and I was just missing two of these, and I've since found one. I just got the other one in the mail. So that is that is it for this one. So there's the other ones in there right there. So this is a nice order. Uh, order on September 19th, so before Brookfield, Michigan. So it's a. Uh, 168 euro, so that's uh, not the same. They're actually equal pretty much the US dollar and the euro now. So, US dollar might be worth more now. I don't even know, but it's, it's I haven't seen that yet, but I haven't ordered from Europe in a week or so. Alright, we did it. Got through all the orders. Nothing, no mail tomorrow to process. Uh, just figure out what to do with that stuff. I got the minifigs out. But, I put it in a bag labeled with the uh, set numbers and do a used part out. If I have help coming tomorrow, maybe I'll have to do that. But I'm going to release these real quick and get out of here. Oh, day two back from a uh, different time zone is always harder than day one. I got up at 5.30 instead of 5 and this, I was tired. I was tired. eBay sales. A few things. All right, time to check our Bricklink and Brick Owl sales for yesterday. And I only have four Bricklink orders and one Brick Owl sale. Let me tell you about the Bricklink orders. There's two of them that are over $100. And I saw one of them is one lot, one item for over 300 So 285 lots to pull in Bricklink, 18 on Brick Owl, 303 total. Right, order number two is the big one. It is uh, 252 lots, 1,084 items. This is going out to MLEGO 17. That was uh, tied for first going to my, my booth at Burke World in uh, Detroit in Novi, Michigan. So, also live streams with uh, Butt Chop 2021 and Brick Pasta on Sunday mornings. Was this number 18? Yeah, it's got the crack spider webby windows. It must be this one here. Yeah. Here you go. Lego Dad Sunday live stream. There you go. Just past 100. We're at 108. One of these. Twenty eight eighty three. One of these. Where do we put it? Where do we put it? Uh, how about those? Twenty ninety one. It's one of these. These go with uh that stuff. Use parts, a couple of minifigs, all the new stuff, and that is the 252 lot order of the day. Awesome. Number three, 11 rubber bands, a couple of new things there. And use parts, 22 lots. We only have, let's see, one lot to pull and 18 lots to pull. We're done. Definitely found a better box, perfect size. Add the more bubble wrap. And it's El Dorado Fortress, 332 bucks. Sometimes I just hoard up things to just hoard them up. Don't know what to do with them. There we go. Throw that in the, the Lego box. I just rebuilt my eBay store from yesterday and today. It wasn't much. Uh, I relisted nine items and put some uh, waiting for parts. So now I'm going to start just cleaning up stuff. Uh, I got this from last week still. Uh, I gotta sort this away, so I'm gonna sort this away. The help will be here in like two hours, 45 minutes. So I'm gonna get this all put away. Things like this put in certain spots. Um, I'm gonna sort out these treads that I'm gonna up upload today. Uh, let me get this 
figure out what three sets. I think this is three sets. What three sets these are. Obviously, just put away these dinosaur legs. I'm not going to upload that. Um, I'll just get this ready for part out. So I'm going to clean up my desk, my table first, with all that stuff. Take my uh, cereal bowl up, uh, put scissors away. And start start editing videos because I got to do six again. So it's got to get get moving on that. All right, we are working today. Like every day, we're home. Got these sorted out. Got to get this sorted out. See if I can sort this collection over here. I got to get there. So hopefully, uh, it's a Wednesday today. Early. Hopefully by Friday, I'll have all this done. And out of there so there's these are small sets <clears throat> and then I was hoping to start on this I might start on this on Friday uploading parts and I got more parts and more parts and then big tires you said I got a part out so continuing to work getting things where they need to be all right so I got about 45 minutes until we need that table for parting out a set, so I'm just gotta start start on this somewhere. So, you know, um, see if I can get all that uploaded. That and these treads, and see where we're at. Get off the table after that. All right, got the file created with all the quantities right. Um, uh, 44 lots. There's 705 items. So I guess the first thing I'm just going to pull in the pricing. And yeah, there it is. 213 bucks on the, what the people average have for sale. These items that I have here. So it's pretty good. Uh, it took me like 20 minutes to get to this point. So <clears throat> not bad. I'm going to pull in my store. Bricklink my Bricklink store inventory. And I got back to this file after the Brickling Surf pulls up. Oh, it just takes a minute. There it is. I'll go back to here. Copy values from the store, which is, I have it marked copy remarks or comments. So then we move this over to here. So it's like we have the green baskets, some treads, those brown links few other parts but not hardly anything at the end of these big things so maybe we'll get this uploaded and clear off the table I got 18 minutes we can do it all right just on time 11:59. we started at 12 so got this pasted in there and all the parts so final number I that this is the number before which I didn't I didn't count this uh, basket that was 195 green baskets so I did that and got everything in here 240, 14 is the final number. Almost 900 items. It's a quick, quick and easy uh, upload there. All right, time to make the move. All right, so we added two full 24 drawer cabinets, which adds a total of 24 more big drawers. Because once it gets to the bottom of that, I was heading over here, and there's just a lot of small drawers until you get to the bottom. So, got that corrected for now. Um, so these are the ones I took out of there. They had you know, half small, half large, so we made them all large. And then these ones are going to go where those ones are, the bottom, two big ones. And then those two are going to go there and there. And eventually I'll get... I, did, I almost bought one today. I'll get another one to go here, and another top row. Is once the, once you get to the point where they needed this, this will be for the new parts on this this area. But the used parts end here, because the new parts are really coming up to a point where I don't have very many large drawers left here. I had to get those numbered right, right now. I'm going to do that, number the rest of those, and then once that gets full, then they'll head to here. So I had to switch all this around. Uh, four cabinets through here and uh, and then after that gets full down there it'll start up to here 
and so on and so forth. All right, I got those just set in there. They're not like secured at all, but they don't, they're pretty good. And I don't know, I did not, when I bought these shells, did not realize that these actually fit here. So it's a bonus, bonus place. Time we're parting out this set, we have 12 of them. Just gathered them from a couple different locations, like about 25 bucks a set I was getting them for. And it's going down. It's only two bags, two small bags though, in the one. Is yellow tree worthy? Not really. But uh, here's the final numbers. 49.84 will be the last one there. So got that. All right, let's set it real fast. It's been done about 20 minutes already, and I just started uh, another putting together sets. I already got this one and like one other one over there. That's just missing one, one of those. And then uh, so I got to box it up and bag that up. So now I'm working on the mini figs first. I'm going to put five on eBay of each of these for complete to brick link and then part out three for her. I'm not sure about she because I already have some of her in my store completed to see what her parts are worth compared to and none of her parts are for sale in my store. So yeah, she's not worth much. I'll probably part out a majority of them. 452. Looks like I have two of them in there and maybe I'll just throw one or two more. Probably two more. It's enough room in there. Because I have seven to work with after the eBay stuff. So, part out five, complete two. Now I know what I'm doing there. So, I'll get this all put away. I think it was like 45 new lots. This is the third time I'm parting this out. So, it's not very many new lots here. When is you at the point? When am I at the point? When are we at the point when you have too many of these parts that don't sell? What do we do? I'm going to put them in a shoebox and stop I was, they were using up this entire big drawer like why shoe box them and i'll put enough to just in a, if somebody if somebody buys a few of them then i just do this something like that and drop a few don't worry they won't be lost nobody wants them and then i'll just put this as a secondary number or the first number and then the shoe box the secondary if someone buys a big quantity then I'll go to the shoebox. All right. Got Lego sets being completed over there and or then. It's finally a good episode maybe. I haven't really watched it, but it seems exciting. So we're gonna pull up um, the store on this one. 13,827, 460,000 parts. And we are gonna hit the upload button here, 4,500 parts, 693 bucks. So my cost was around 300 bucks, probably more like 350-ish, I'd imagine, with tax. And that's uh, taking away 10 minifigs. So it's not a great upload, um, part out value, but it's 2.3, 2.4, somewhere around there. So that is, either way, it's parts for sale. I actually lowered prices on every lot that I already had in my store. Um, so that is going to be a different there. So 460, 13827, that's not as many lots I added. And we go to 13877. So we added 50 lots. So that's not bad. And uh, 465,000. This is a record number of parts for sale. So we're 35,000 away from a half a million. That is exciting. Keep on pushing, but today is almost over. It's almost 3.30 now. I'm just going to do some sorting the rest of the day. All right, we did extremely well today. That's complete. This little guy is complete. Actually, we completed two of these. One had the box. I had the other one ready for photographs. And this one, I guess I'm going to make up a little box for convention. That's complete. There's three sets there. Uh, this one just needs uh, two printed there and a printed on the front. I gotta bag that up. This one just needs the back and the roof. This one just needs the printed piece in the front and the printed piece, the red one. I thought I had that one somewhere, but um, I just gotta bag those up, put those over there. And then the only two we have, this one got started. Um, a few things marked off of it. This one and this one, that's it. So I'm going to finish those up tomorrow, 
so that I can get all those parts sorted away or ready for listing so a few of them that I may not want to keep. Um, got the turbo prop, it's missing one piece I think, yeah, just that one. And then the mobile command unit, it's missing a couple. One, two, three, I gotta do the minifix still, so four pieces. Uh, this awesome set, Space Police, missing a good little number, but like three of those, Space had the printing on it, those, but nothing that very expensive, it's less than three dollars worth of parts or around there. This uh, ATST, Imperial ATST is just missing one of those, and then I got one in the box now, another Space one. Is this one we just did? Did we just do this, or is this an older one? No, this is what I've already done. I don't know how they got to the top. I guess I guess I was I don't know what's going on with that. Anyway, uh, I think I put a new one in here. Maybe I didn't. But I'm gonna order some parts up now. I got everything on the list. Oh, this is the one that I put up here, the Yeti hideout or something from Orient Expedition. Missing one, two, three, four, five, six parts. I did find this. I believe. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a good day. Great day. So, oh yeah, one more thing. Um, this I just started. I just got everything. I think this is all the things I'll need if I can find any more color wise. So, how I chose to do this, this is my pile left over that I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna sort these uh, Technic pins away. I'm just gonna sort everything out of the pile. I'm just gonna take a bunch onto this uh, table after I get these put away. Usually it'd be easier with two hands. But I'm not gonna strap a camera to me, I'm sorry. This is not, not in the cards. Um, so what I did originally is I just dumped everything on here and I took a chunk and I started sorting out all the colors. And at the end there was some of these black left, so I had to pull those out of the black pile. Um, but, you know, and I'm sorting things in color groups. So I can just go after the blue. I know every blue is right here. There's only going to be three of them um, that I, there possibly could be. Tan, the same three. Gray, dark grays there. Red. These, I don't know. These don't even have to be near me. There should be so, so few of those. The gray stuff here. Black over there. So... Um, so yeah, that's, that's how I found to be the most efficient in my experience is kind of group by color when you're only dealing with so many things and you just go after colors. You don't go after the certain piece type. You just go after the colors because each piece is almost, just, um, has its own different colors. So yeah, I'm being philosoph philosophical. I gotta quit today. It's already after four. Just gotta clean this up. I gotta cook dinner. Thank you.